In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some low carb approved drinks that we love. Now water is great and it is essential to drink enough water every day to be hydrated. However, sometimes you get bored of water, right? So these drinks, they are low in calorie, low in carbs. Many of them have no calories at all or no carbs and they are delicious. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? And if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, subscribe. We post a new video every single Monday. So keep watching to see these delicious drinks. <music> going to get right into the video here are all the drinks that we drink now they're all low carb and also low calorie or zero calories so if you're on a program where you're actually counting your calories these are also great now the star of the show is water water is the lead and all of the other items are the extras on the set. Water is key to keeping hydrated. Nothing replaces water. Come on, water, show them. Water is the star. We try to drink, we drink a liter a day of water. Um, we are trying to drink more than that, um, but we definitely drink a liter of water a day. Water is so important. Um, it does get a little bit boring for us sometimes. <laughs> so we do drink other items, but water is number one. So these are some flavor drops that we actually add to the star of the show, water, to add some flavor. First one is Crystal Light. Uh, Crystal Light is good, but it does have aspartame in it. Um, so if you are sensitive to aspartame or you're staying away from aspartame it does have aspartame in it so you might not want to have that one um, but it's really good this flavor is really good and they also have pink lemonade which I really really like and this one this is fruit punch and then this is the kool-aid sugar-free and this one is grape they have a few different flavors both of them have I hope I pronounced this correctly, sucralose. They both have sucralose in them, and they're also zero calories. And then this one, it has stevia in it. So if you're going for more of a natural sweetener, then this is also great, and it also comes in different flavors. We love the grape. <laughs> That's why you see the bottle of like squeezed and like dying. <laughs> we really love the grape Kool-Aid. It's really, really good. And um, they also have kind of like a fruity flavor that we also like. So yeah, definitely check these out if you just want to add a little bit of flavor. Normally like two or three squeezes and it definitely adds that flavor to your water. So here I am with the star of the show and the squeeze. So one, two, three. See? Perfecto. And that's it it's great so it just adds a light flavor you can add four if you like it a little bit sweeter next up is vitamin water uh, this is orange flavored now it doesn't have any aspartame it actually is sweetened with erythritol um, but it does have four grams of carbs for the whole bottle but it's great it's filled with other vitamins I'll read them out some of them like it has 100 percent vitamin c which is great calcium 15 percent vitamin e 35 percent it has vitamin b6 vitamin b12 so it has a bunch of other vitamins in it that's really good to have and it has no sugar at all so if you're on the road out and about it's great to easily grab this um so we drink it and it comes in so many different flavors this is just the orange but they have a lot of different type of flavors next up iced tea we love iced tea around here in fact we make it ourselves and it's so easy i was gonna do a video but i thought it's so simple i could just explain it well we just take a pot of water bring it to a boil once it's boiled we then add the tea bags in turn off the heat let it seep for about 10 minutes uh, with the heat off and then after that 
take out the tea bags and kind of let it cool there a little bit longer so that you can then put it into the fridge. And we normally do that overnight, leave it in the fridge overnight, and then the next day we take it out and we add some lemon juice to the pot. And each glass, we add uh, some sweetener to each glass. We don't add it to the whole pot because it would take so much sweetener. So for each glass, we add um, some monk fruit sweetener to it or sorve. We, we normally use monk fruit sweetener and just add it and mix it in. So that's it. But sometimes, you know, when it gets super, super busy, we do buy iced tea. And Snapple has dyed iced tea. They have the lemon flavor. Um, I don't particularly like the lemon flavor that much, but it's good. <laughs> it's good because uh, my fiance loves the lemon flavor. So, but I like the peach. So there's the peach tea. And this one does have um, aspartame, unfortunately. Um, but as I'm saying, we mostly make our own iced tea. So it has no carbs in it um, and no sugar. So it is, you know, it's low in calories because it has no calories. Um, but as I'm saying, it does have the aspartame, but it's really, really good. So, but you can make your own iced tea. It's so easy. Okay, now we're doing carbonated water, flavored and not flavored. So this one, move you up, is not flavored and it's just water, carbonated water. We normally, we don't drink this by itself, sometimes, but rarely. We normally will add it to what I was showing you before, this. We normally add it to this or this. It tastes so good when you actually have the carbonated water and you just squeeze a little bit of this in it. It's like you're almost creating your own pop. So, but sometimes, yeah, we'll just have it. And then they have the flavored one. Let's do some switching. Here's the flavored one. This also, it ha actually has no sweetener. It just has natural flavor because it just has the carbonated water and natural flavor to it. And this is a good brand. You can actually just drink it zero calories. All of these have no calories in them. Um, and you can just drink it over some ice, which is good. Um, or you can squeeze a flavor shot in it. But it does have flavor in it. It's very light, the flavor. And they have different ones, like the grapefruit. They have many different ones. But it's a very light flavor that it does have to it. Um, so you might just like that light flavor. Or you might want to spruce it up a little bit and then add, like, you know, one of these drops to it. This one is really good. This has a stronger flavor to it. This one is actually um, my favorite. Let's go to the English version. Uh, cranberry raspberry. It's really good and the flavor is really strong. You don't need to add any kind of flavor shot to it at all. Um, but it does have uh, sucralose in it. So is this one sucralose? Let me check to make sure. Or is this one aspartame? No, great. Yeah, this is sucralose that it has in it. Um, and as I'm saying, you don't need to add any flavor shop. It has a very strong flavor to it. And they come in, they have the peach. Uh, they also have the apricot. It's so good. I love this. And then this is also great. The flavor to me is light. It might be stronger to other people, but it's a light flavor. Um, I would add like a little flavor shot with it. Or you can just drink it over ice. Can be refreshing but yeah it's also carbonated water and it has no sweetener to it it just it's carbonated water and they say with natural flavor and this one is black cherry but it comes in many different flavors so these are really great to have and they're kind of refreshing i think they're really nice to have over ice um and i also think it's nice just the carbonated water with a flavor shot i think is really nice and here we have almond milk which this one has no sugar. It's one gram of carb, one gram of fiber, which kind of cancel each other out. So it has no carbs and it is really great. We use it for the base for making like chocolate milk or even chocolate milkshake. So it's basically just the almond milk and then we use the unsweetened cocoa powder. So for one cup, you can drink it straight also over ice. It's really good, really refreshing. And it is only 30 calories per one cup for this uh, particular brand. But all of the no sugar almond milk are pretty really, pretty low in calories. They're generally 30 calories per cup. So yeah, this one's great to have. Even if you're having, um, we bought the cereal. We did a video with the cereal. Um, and I'll link that video at the bottom 
where we show you other low carb options, some great finds that we found. Um, but one of them was a low carb cereal and then we'll have the almond milk with that. So yeah, this is great. And now we have Gatorade Zero. This is the berry flavor, but they have other different flavors. And it is sweetened with sucralose. It has one gram of carbs and it is 10 calories for the bottle. Um, I'm not a particular fan of the Gatorade drinks, but my fiance really loves them. And it's something great to grab you know, while you're on the go. Okay, so here's the elephant in the room. Come on, Diet Ginger Ale. Don't be shy, come on. We do drink um, Diet Pop occasionally. And I know that some people have issues with Diet Pop. <laughs> so Keto Police, Low Carb Police, any kind of Diet Police, please do not come for us over Diet Pop. It is something that we occasionally drink and we love Diet Ginger Ale because we can add it to other things. Like, we will add diet ginger ale to our flavor shots. For instance, this and diet ginger ale. Can you guys see in the camera clearly? Tastes so good. So we'll pour this in a glass, and then we'll pour some diet ginger ale in it, and it's like, tastes like sparkling fruit punch. Um, I mean, we could add the carbonated water. We've done that too, but we do like gin diet ginger ale. And we'll have it we'll have it by itself or with flavor shots we just we enjoy it so we do the have that sometimes um, I'm not promoting or not or saying anything that diet pop is amazing for you in any way at all I'm just saying it as something that we have and we've never had an issue with it when it comes to weight loss um, and if you're in keto uh, when I was strict keto, it never kicked me out of ketosis. Now everybody's body is different, I guess, but it never did that to me. Um, and it's definitely never affected um, me or my fiance when it comes to weight loss. Everything, obviously, you have to do in moderation, of course. Same thing comes with diet pop. You have to do it in moderation. Like, we're not over drinking diet pop. And as I said, water is a star of the show. That's the main source that everyone should be taking in anyways is water. But we do have diet pop sometimes, so wanted to present it come on diet pop it's okay it's okay you're welcome here so i almost forgot about this drink which we also love sparkling ice it comes in so many different flavors but this is cherry limeade they have a mango one it's mango mixed with something else and it's really good and it's sweetened with sucralose and it has zero calories zero carbs so we have this sometimes too really like it a lot so I wanted to show you guys this we recently purchased it when we bought um, all of our low carb items we saw it and we're like oh we definitely want to try it and it is you can use it to make like a daiquiri and it is sweetened with sucralose they had other flavors there also they had a Bellini a peach Bellini which definitely want to try that next um, and it is 10 calories for four ounces and let me just verify something. Yeah, so it is three grams of carbs for um, the four ounces and 10 calories. And no added sugar. And sucralose is a sweetener. It's actually really good. So you can use it to place it in alcohol, but we didn't do that. We actually use it in, we mixed it with the ginger ale, the diet ginger ale, and it actually tasted really, really good. Um, and now they have they have a recipe on the back how you can actually make it um, with alcohol but we're gonna try the peach Bellini and then we'll let you know how that tastes but yeah definitely really really good really tasty um, nice to have on a nice summer day or in the evening when you're relaxing it's great to have so guys those are all of the items that we drink and enjoy and as I said um, they're great for low carb um, had them on keto so however I know some of the keto communities won't like some of the items but when I was on keto it was not an issue with these items um, so definitely low carb no problem at all and if you're counting calories they're also great because the majority of them have no calories or are very low in calories so they're great to have. But again, water is a star of the show. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe and join the family where we post a new video every single Monday. See you in the next video.